Uh, and, you know, it's a word that we hear so many times, unprecedented, it's thrown around, but yet again, you know, historians really are calling this visit unprecedented. Absolutely. It is rare for a sitting president to join the picket line, and it's certainly a fine line for President Biden to walk here because him showing up and showing his support and solidarity, as you said, it could be seen as him supporting what they're asking for. And the White House was pressed about that when we were at the press briefing yesterday. They said he is not coming here to negotiate or anything like that. He's just here to show his support. But when he was asked by reporters if he does support them, and that means some of their certain asks, he says, yes, he does. There's also this question here of support from the UAW president. That endorsement is big. Biden was asked as he landed if he's uh, worried about getting that endorsement. He said that's something that he's not worried about, but it certainly would be a big thing for him to get as all eyes are on 2024 and as his predecessor and top challenger, former President Donald Trump, is set to be here tomorrow and is also fighting for union worker support here. Nicole. All right, Kelly, as we take a live look there at the picket line, and I believe we have some video of President Biden's motorcade as he arrived at the airport there, touched down, and then did get into the black SUV, uh, obviously a motorcade there of SUVs, as the president makes his way, a sitting president making his way to join striking workers on the picket line. Uh, Kelly, what really are some of the political implications here for President Biden? And, you know, as we're watching this, it's so interesting. You know, there was a lot of confusion around where exactly he was going to be going today because this was also last minute, Nicole. You know, he wasn't initially. In Kelly, I'm going to interrupt you here. Let's listen into what President Biden is saying. Yes. Oh, sure. One thing is real simple. I'm going to be very brief. The fact of the matter is that you guys, the UAW, you saved the automobile industry back in 2008 and before. Made a lot of sacrifices. Gave up a lot, and the companies were in trouble. But now they're doing incredibly well. And guess what? You should be doing incredibly well, too. The simple yeah. 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 Stick with it, because you deserve the significant raise you need and other benefits. Let's get it! Yeah. Let's get back who we lost, okay? Yeah. 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 We can say him, it's about time for them to step up for us. Thank you. Yeah. All right, Kelly, bring you back here there. Uh, Sean Fain there uh, addresses workers. We just heard from President Biden. Kelly, you know, we heard the president say the industry is doing incredibly well, that the workers should be doing incredibly well as well. But we know that the Biden administration is also strongly pushing the EV movement. Uh, so that plays into all of this as well. Yeah. And then again, former President Trump who will arrive there tomorrow, not so much on the side uh, of EV technology. Yeah, and it's so interesting just listening to the president there and what we were touching on before. You know, he's saying that they deserve better pay. So he's really stepping into these negotiations by being here. And that's the concern that the White House, as we were saying, is walking this fine line here. Normally, they're behind the scenes mediating and letting the companies and the workers kind of come to their own solution. But he's right there on the front lines. That's why you don't really see uh, many presidents coming out here to the front of the picket lines. But he is doing this. He's also trying to build this support from the union workers. And as you mentioned, the electronic vehicle movement is a big part of this, too, because his administration is really pushing for that. They just invested around $12 billion to talk about that transition from uh, gas vehicles to electric vehicles. They're really investing in that and trying to make sure that companies can transition without losing workers. But there is still this question around electronic vehicles, uh, you know, really being able to, doesn't need as much uh, as many workers, it's non-union workers that they're asking to bring in for something like this. So this could be costing jobs and costing company companies money. That's where you're seeing uh, former President Trump coming in very anti-EV and really pushing Biden on this. We're expecting to hear more from him on that tomorrow and hitting Biden, the Democratic governor of Michigan, and others on this for pushing the EV vehicle, saying that that is what's hurting these auto workers. Nicole. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.